Uh, Honourable John Boskier. Mr Chair, I'd like to respond to those comments because, like the Honourable Leanne Dalziel, um, I was expecting a debate um, on expenditure limits, on the limits that promoters, um, uh, the amount that promoters will be able to spend for or against any one particular electoral system uh, on this part three of the bill. So I was somewhat surprised that you put the uh, amendments from Hilary Calvert uh, on the last vote because, of course, what the ACT Party did is it promoted an amendment that would allow third parties to spend up to $750,000. And if we couldn't get the, if we couldn't get the, uh, the Parliament to agree to $750,000, sir, we suggested uh, $500,000. Um, but, it, but it's interesting because Leanne Dalziel criticises the fact that, that we would actually put up an amendment. We would actually put up an amendment that would deny a third party a third party to put to spend five hundred thousand dollars because she would criticise it as paid speech. Well, yes, it is paid speech. It's buying advertising. It's what political parties do. And earlier this afternoon, we voted on a bill that would enable the two major political parties in this elect in this in this parliament to spend over five million dollars. Five million dollars in paid speech, Ms. D Ms. Dalziel. Five million. But we're going to restrict the right of an organisation that wants us to, to be involved in this referendum to try and sway the votes of voters of the votes of New Zealanders one way or the other to no more than three hundred thousand dollars. But that's not the only thing that Ms. Dalziel misrepresents, because she derides my my contribution as simply saying what ordinary New Zealander has got three hundred thousand to spend, sir. We're not talking about individual New Zealanders, sir. We're talking about organisations. We're talking about organisations who want to get involved in this election campaign. I sat, I sat on the select committee that considered this submission, as did Ms Dalziel. And she would be well aware that we had an organisation that came along and submitted to that bill who had formed themselves together, sir, to promote the MMP option. It wasn't one person, sir. It was a group of people who purported to represent a much larger group of people. They sent their spokespeople along. Now, I don't know the name of the organisation, I can't recall it, but it may have been promote MMP or it may have been you know, pro MMP, but certainly there had been an organisation, sir, that had formed for the purposes of promoting MMP. That's right, sir. Not one person, but a whole series of people, sir. An organisation, a grassroots New Zealand organisation. So for Leanne Dalziel to stand up here and suggest that the ACT Party is talking about one New Zealander having the right to spend 300000 she misrepresents our position, and sir, it's worse than that, she actually knows that she misrepresents our position. Sir, the other point that, um, excuse me, the other point that um, Leanne Dalziel makes is she said that under the provisions of this bill, third parties, those organisations, such as the organisation that appeared before our select committee, will have access to television. They will have access to television to promote their view one way or the other in support or against one of the four different submissions or the four different systems that have been put up. Well, sir, it's interesting that she finds the use of television particularly obnoxious because the reason that the Labour Party finds television obnoxious is it's powerful. You can actually persuade, you can influence people through television. And we know that one of the reasons that the Len Brown Committee put down for their success in Auckland is the early use of television. But, sir, it's also television that is denied the smaller political parties. The smaller political parties in this parliament are denied the chance to spend their own money on television, sir. And that, sir, is another, another uh, major failing of this parliament that it hasn't taken the opportunity to correct that, sir. So, this, this is the referendum bill, and, and let, me, let me just explain, let me just explain to, to Ms Adams is that under the referendum bill, people can form organisations for or against, for or against one or more of the political systems, electoral systems that are being promoted. They can spend their own money and they can spend it up to $300,000 and they can spend it on television. And it's a pity, sir, that there are parties in this parliament who are denied their own opportunity to do just that. Mr Speaker, notwithstanding the $300,000 limit being, um, being uh, set at 300000 
Uh, the ACT Party will be voting for this bill. We do support the right of New Zealanders to have a say on their electoral system. We, Mr Chair, Mr Chair. Honourable John Boskier. Thank you, Mr Chair. But, sir, we think it is important, Democracy. but we also think it's important that they be informed the and they actually understand what is being offered to them. And it's, it's a tragedy that by putting, by putting limits on organisations such as the one who appeared before our committee in Wellington, I think it was included academics from Victoria University, that they are denied the op we're denying New Zealanders the opportunity to be fully informed. Because I note that Leanne Dalziel refers to the, um, is it the supplementary member system. She calls it first past the post with a winner's bonus. Well, sir, I could take, uh, take issue with that description of it too, sir, but I, I won't do that. Sir, the, um, the other uh, amendment that Hilary Calvert had before the Parliament this afternoon was to do with the actual um, voting form that appears in Schedule 1 of this bill, and I thought that I may have had an opportunity to speak to that um, before it had been put to the Parliament. Sir, the ACT Party earlier this afternoon put up an amendment that would have actually provided for a, a vote on the Maori seat, sir. And we did that, sir, because in the 1986 uh, referendum, or sorry, 1986 uh, Royal Commission into the Electoral System, the commissioners in recommending MMP also said that once you have a proportional system, you no longer need to have electoral seats, sir, set up on a racial basis. Uh, well, sir, they, they, they may well have been joking, you would say, Mr Hani Harawera, oh, but no. they weren't. It was a royal commission, sir, and that, that was what they said, and the record shows that the royal commission in recommending MMP said if you have a proportional system, you have a system where every vote counts, you simply don't need the Maori seat option. Sir, and it's a pity that the parliament took the opportunity of actually voting down that amendment this afternoon. Thank you, Mr Chair.